Hey everybody, so today I got to talk about this if statement, if dunder name is equal to a string of dunder main. When you see this if statement, it's usually followed by a call to a function named main, or something similar. A majority of the driving code behind a program is usually found within some sort of main method. When you see this if statement, basically speaking it means that this script can be imported or it can run standalone. Functions and classes in this module can be reused in other programs without the main block of code running. Sometimes you would like the functionality of a program without executing the main body of code. A good example could be a library. In a Python library, we would like to import some of the useful functions, such as the math module. But if we were to run that library directly, instead of importing it, we could instead display a help page. But if we're importing that library, we don't necessarily want to display that help page only for running it directly. In many Python scripts, you'll see the statement of if dunder name is equal to main. If we're not running this program directly, don't do it. In this example, we're going to delete our main Python script. Be sure to recreate it at the end of this topic in case I forget to mention that. We will create two new scripts. Go to File, New, Python File, Script 1, File, New, Python File, Script 2. We have to add new run configurations for script 1 and script 2. So if you go to the top, go to Run, Edit Configurations, we will add a new run configuration. Select Python, select a new script path to script 1. OK, Apply. Again, we have to do this with script 2. Add Python, select a script path, of script 2. OK, apply, then OK. Using this drop down menu, we can select which run configuration we would like. Would we like to run our main Python file, but we have deleted it? Do we want to run script 1 or script 2? For the time being, we'll select script 1. Within script 1, if I was to print, then call the dir function, dir meaning directory, Python has all of these built-in attributes. If you're not familiar with object-oriented programming, for now, think of an attribute as a variable. Dunder name is a special type of variable. Dunder meaning double underscore. If I was to print what's contained within dunder name, we would receive a string of dunder main. That's why in a script you may see the statement, if dunder name is equal to a string of dunder main. If so, then you usually call a function named main to start your program. I'm going to undo that. So let's import script 2. From script 2, import everything. Asterisk means everything. Within script 2, I will print dunder name, and we'll see what's within it. Again, I'm running script 1. Within script 2, dunder name is equal to a string of script 2, the name of the Python script. However, within script 1, dunder name is equal to a string of dunder main. This means I am running script 1 directly. Let's delete this import. Then go to script 2, import script 1. From script 1, import asterisk meaning all. We're now going to change our run configuration from script 1 to script 2. We are running script 2 directly. Now dunder name within script 1 is the name of the Python script, script 1. Dunder name within script 2 is now dunder main. So by adding this if statement of dunder name is equal to dunder main, we can check to see which file is being run directly. If dunder name equals dunder main, we will call a function of main to contain the main body of our program. But we need to define this function. Define main. Our main function will contain the majority of our Python code, anything that's not already within a function. So let's print. This is script one. Then we'll define another function of favorite food. 
we will have one parameter of food. Let's print the following message. I'll use an F string. Your favorite food is add a placeholder, add our parameter of food. Within our main function, let's call the favorite food function. Pass in your favorite food as a string. I'll type in pizza. Then let's print the word goodbye. We're going to run script one. Run it. Here's the result. From the top down, all of our code is within functions. We skip over it because we're not calling it quite yet. The first thing we do in this program is check this if statement if dunder name is equal to dunder main. Are we running this program directly? Which we are. We're running script one. If so, call the main method to start the program. We print this is script one. Your favorite food is pizza. Goodbye. Now I'm going to go to script two. Delete our print statement. Change the run configuration to script two and run it. Nothing should happen. That's good. Now, if we were missing this if statement of if dunder name is equal to main, then we delete our main function. Here's what would happen. We're importing script one, but we're running script two. This is script one. Your favorite food is pizza. Goodbye. I don't want this code to execute. We're not running it directly. That's why we have that if statement. If dunder name is equal to main. I only want to run this code if we're running it directly. So what we'll do within script two now is define a function of favorite drink. There's one parameter of drink. I will print, use an F string, your favorite drink is, I'll add a placeholder, we'll add our parameter of drink. Let's print the message. This is script two. We will call from script one, the favorite food function. Pass in your favorite food. This time I'll say sushi. Let's call our favorite drink function. Favorite drink, I'll pass in coffee. Then we will print goodbye. Okay, we are running script two. This is script two, your favorite food is sushi, your favorite drink is coffee, goodbye. We're running script two, but we're importing the functionality of the favorite food function from script one. Sometimes from another Python script, you want to borrow something, but you don't want to run the main body of code directly. I just want to borrow this function from script one and that's it. Script two can be run as a standalone program, but I can't import it without this body of code running. I can add that if statement. If dunder name is equal to a string of dunder main. If we're running this program directly, execute this code. So let's call a function of main. Define main. Then place the main body of code within it. If I run script two, we have the same message. So by adding this if statement of if name is equal to main, this script can be run as a standalone program or it can be imported. A more practical example of this could be a Python library. You can import the library for functionality, but if you run the library directly, you could instead display a help page. It is good practice to include if dunder name equals dunder main. It makes your code more modular, helps with readability, leaves no global variables, and avoid unintended execution. And well, everybody, that is the purpose of if dunder name equals dunder main in Python.